artists. Let's talk for a minute today about two family colors. The family colors we're going to talk about today are called warm and cool family colors. If you notice on the color wheel, we can divide the color wheel in half. And on one side, we have the warm colors. Warm colors are red, orange, and yellow, like things that make you feel warm, like maybe a fire or the hot sun in the sky. And then on the other side of the color wheel, we have cool colors, green, blue, and purple. And I can always remember cool colors because they make me feel cold, like maybe snow or ice. On this color wheel, I can divide it in half. Let me rotate it around here. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Again, on this color wheel, I can split it in half. And on one side, oh, this way, Miss Harden, split it this way. That's right. On this side, I have the warm colors, red, orange, and yellow. And on this side, I have cool colors, green, blue, and purple. Today, we're going to be talking about warm colors and cool colors, and we're going to make art based on warm colors and cool colors. Let's take time now to practice. Turn and tell your neighbor the three warm colors and the three cool colors. I'm excited to see what you can make using warm and cool colors, so let's get started. Happy art making! When I begin to create my tie-dye art, I'm going to use warm or cool colors. Notice these two tie-dye arts are warm colors, like red, orange, and yellow. And these two tie-dye arts are cool colors, like green, blue, and purple. I have warm colors here, and I have cool colors here. I think that I'll start with my cool colors, so I don't need these warm colors right now. When I create my tie-dye art, what I like to do is start with the circle. I think that that one looks the coolest. And so I just start making a dot in the middle of my paper, and I make sure that I cover up all of the white space. And I press really hard. Notice how all of my white space is totally covered up inside of that green dot. Now I'm going to switch to the next color, and what I like to do is make a circle around it and then fill it in. I can go slow next to the line. I can go fast inside and slow next to the line and fast inside, like this. What I am doing with my paper is I'm holding it on the edge because if I don't hold it on the edge and I color hard, it might crinkle up like this. So I want to be sure, yeah, like that. I want to be sure that I hold it tight. I can put my hand up here or I can spread my fingers out and hold that space nice and tight. Got the most important part. See what's happening on my table right here? Uh oh. Um, I need my placemat. Now I can keep working. When I think I'm done, I want to double check. I want to double check for white spots. I see some right here, and in here, and over there. So I need to fill in all of those white spots. Now, this is when the awesome part happens. The next thing I do is I take my eraser, and I start in the center, just like you see here. And I take my eraser, and I go from the center out. 
only out. I don't go back and forth. This is what I do. From the center, out. Oh, <laughs> whoopsies. Looks like that one had some warm color, maybe some red left on it, so I guess I should have checked the tip of my eraser. Um, if there is color on my eraser, I can just use my placemat to clear that color off of my eraser. Here we go, that looks better. Oh yeah, look at that, that's so much better. I can see the colors starting to blend right here. Awesome. Notice that I'm going from the in, out, in, out, in, out. I am not going back and forth. I'm not going from the out, in. I'm going from the inside, out. And I noticed over here that a little more red showed up. I don't know where it came from, but I can't, I can't color on top of it, so I'm just going to leave it, and it's gonna be like a little piece of character that shows up on my tie-dye art. That's how I create the circle tie-dye art. This is how I create the line tie-dye art. I think this time for the lines I'll use warm colors and I will show you how I make my lines. This time I think I'll make horizontal lines, lines that go from side to side. So first I just draw a line and then I color it in. Notice the difference in these. On these two I have circles, And on these two I have lines. The lines here are horizontal, which means they go from side to side, and these lines are diagonal. They go from corner to corner. And those are my options.